Let's say those cues number quattro. Yes. <laughs> Donica Lee Ellis asked, how do you keep up with news without wallowing in despair? This was actually a problem for me for a long time, so I made a conscious decision not to read the news. If something's super important, I'm gonna find out. And during election times, I do use sites like factcheck.org, but I'm personally a big believer in generally only taking in information if it's actionable and relevant. Otherwise, it can kind of read like anxiety and helplessness, which does not do anybody any good. No. No. Unless you're a despair and helplessness monster. Well, he like, maybe he gobbles it up for other people. And that's he, why yeah. he's cute, is that he's like, I'm gonna take your despair and helplessness. Yeah. Sean Aker, author of The Happiness Advantage, calls this noise canceling. He recommends reducing your intake of negative news stories by just 10% at a time. Similarly, Andy Bear Chan asked, how do you stay healthy under stress? This is something we plan to cover in a full video soon, but for now, WebMD has some good tips. For instance, try to maintain a normal routine because having a set schedule can help you feel more in control even when things are kind of chaotic around you. Make connection with family and friends, take time to do the things you enjoy, and take time away from people and things that stress you out needlessly, particularly around bedtime. And as always, please remember to take care of yourself. Try not to let the stressful situation affect your diet, exercise habits, or your sleep. According to psychology professor Dr. Suzanne Segerstrom, attitude is important. The effect of stress on the immune system is not a factor of what's happening in the environment, but it's an effect of your perception of it. But actually, stress isn't a totally bad thing. Dr. Kelly McGonagall gave a great TED talk on the surprising benefits of stress. There is a link in the doobly-doo below. An anonymous reader on Tumblr asked, Do you guys have any advice on failing and moving on? Well, firstly, let's remember something. Everyone, Everyone fails! fails. I like how positive we are each week. It's it's true. It's the truth. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. Steve Jobs got fired from Apple. The guy from Community, they fired him. So there's no reason to feel ashamed for failing. Every shortcoming can be an opportunity and a catalyst for learning and growing. In fact, Pixar has an in-house philosophy, be wrong as fast as you can. To quote the New York Times Magazine, mistakes are an inevitable part of the process. So get right down to it and start making them. And John Lasseter himself has said, every Pixar film was the worst motion picture ever made at one time or another. People don't believe that, but it's true, but we don't give up on the films. Another anonymous Tumblr asked, tips on not losing imagination as an adult. When we're kids, everything is a fresh experience, and a lot of us had unstructured time for play. We still need those things as adults. My own advice is to make time for old joys and new experiences. Maybe watch the movies that you really liked when you were younger, explore parts of your city that you've never been to. Also, I I recommend a mindfulness practice because it just helps me see the world in a new and brighter light. Game Streamer asked, any advice on overcoming my Achilles heel of procrastination? Yep. yep. You should watch that now, but not now now, but mm. you should not procrastinate mm -mm. watching that video. Our last question comes from Kudge Mouse. Please correct us on our pronunciation if we have that wrong friend. What's the biggest disagreement that we have ever had? I can't think of any big disagreements that we've had. There have been times when I've like written something or like edited something a certain way and we've disagreed about it. That's just having different opinions yeah. and we've never not settled those very painlessly. I just feel like we, you know, are friends and also we, we work fairly well together so we can keep any differences. Fairly going. well. <laughs> and that is all we've got for you guys today. If you have any questions you'd like us to answer in a future Q&A, please let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. In the meantime, I know one thing we have disagreed on. Yeah. And it's it's when we should let loose our incredibly awesome catchphrase. Because you were always like, today, today. Today's the day. And I'm like, shut up. No, I'm not. <laughs> You're more like, let it marinate. Okay, I don't you think I've ever told, told you to shut, you to shut I would be up. Really <laughs> Y'all, that's out of character. Very OC. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>